We live to stream another day. I don't remember the sound being so old. That's a, what do you mean old? <laughs> How can this <laughs> sounds very retro? Like it was from an earlier game console or something. Yeah, who knew, right? It really doesn't feel that retro sound wise to me, but not really. I think it's just like it's trying to sound like Mario sounds. Alright, let me grab us a drink. Oh, alright. Oh, oh, I'm silent! But deadly! You want a water? If you don't mind. Would you like it? You want a coke? No. All right, everyone. Ooh, got a star piece. You sure you guys don't want some coke? Yes, quite sure. Here's your Wawa. Oh, I dropped something on the floor. What is that? Plastic. Found a star piece while you were gone. Oh. Bringing us up to seven again. That's a nice even number. What an odd statement. Indeed, it was very integer to our converse. No, I'm out. I, yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, I Were the I green can... ones poisonous? I forgot. But you know who can remind us? That's a green fuzzy. As you can see, it's a fuzzy and it's green. Duh. HP 5 is good. Blah, blah, blah. This is similar to normal fuzzy, so it flinches its own HP as it sucks out ours. Ew. It's just the grossest thing ever. If you don't find that idea gross, seriously, there's something wrong with you. Suck the life out of me, Goombella. I feel no, called um, out, Goombella. Oh, good. I thought it was just me. I mean, this and the other fuzzies that this one multiplies. Green ones can do better math. You know, I bet this thing would look great sitting next to a gold fuzzy. That's probably not to something, but I don't know what it would be. Mm. So yeah, Quake Hammer. I can try to soften it up. Ah, damn, mistimed that. Let's see if I can counter this. Man, they really like sucking off Mario. Yes. These are actually Luigi's minions. <laughs> you know who can solve this quickly? <laughs> Hell yeah, she can. Push he can. Forward. Ya yab? <laughs> Easy XP. Went through a lot of FP, but yeah. Just fight that same enemy like nine more times. Boom, level up. <laughs> I just speak for the trees, and the trees have on my money. Where's it at? Hmm. Can make my hammer confuse things. Current shell. Oh. Put this on and you'll feel like a god. Water beats paper. <laughs> Except that's not real water, is it? It just has uh, bites in it. There we go.
So they can suck the life out of you, right? Mm -hmm. So the pink one, would that be Pinky in the Drain? Yes. And of course, we got a new one to scan. Flower fuzzy? That's a flower fuzzy. Wow, what a totally pretty fuzzy. Don't you think? This thing attacks by boinging in and sucking out FP. How uncool. We need FP. Once it charges up its own FP, it uses magical attacks. Better beat it before it does. Oh, I just got it! It's a flower fuzzy because it sucks your flower points. Duh, hee <laughs> hee. Wait, so... What game was it where if you MP got to zero, you also died? That was... Oh, what game was it? Star Ocean 3, was it? Yeah! I didn't like that one. It's kind of Garbo. And the, uh... I enjoyed it, but... Quote, twist ending was really fucking weird. Yeah, that much I'll own it, too. Alright, time to use a little star power. Why did I think I had a second heal? I guess I don't. Um, don't you? Art attack is a heal? No. No? Draw to run enemies oh, to damage no, them. No, no, no. It's alright, it's alright. You still got some. Nearly missed that one. Do you want poison shrooms? Because that's how you get poison shrooms. I'm sorry, were you getting your shit wrecked this badly last time we played this? It's hardly getting my shit wrecked badly. It's a random encounter you've already had to heal. I thought you were perfect at this. I didn't have to heal, I just... Chose to show off a skill? I wanted the FP back, mostly. Ah, uh, he pooped. I think there's a way to milk these guys for experience like we used to back in the day. I think we are. I'm trying to remember, wasn't there an enemy in... I'm going to call it Final Fantasy 3 because it was what we were playing on Super Nintendo. We were in 6. It was 6, I know, but... What was it? I want to think there was an enemy in that that if you killed everything and then damaged it, it would keep calling for help. Or am I thinking of a different game? I think it's a different game. It was an RPG and it was on the Super Nintendo. So of course my first thought was Final oh, Fantasy VI. Oh, we only got 15 star points from that. Hmm. Oh! Like, fuck money. you did! Well, they would have shown up earlier if we would experience bonuses. Would it? Mm hmm oh. But we got money. It's what we want. But it's only ain't got. Except freedom. Freedom's what we've really sought. The uh Well you mentioned uh pre stream, which sounds dirty out loud. Yes, yes it does, um, doesn't it? Yeah. So you mentioned pre stream. That the um are there any uh, games you were considering on Super Nintendo? Like a possible co-op? Hmm. And I don't mean like Chrono Trigger or Final Fantasy VI where it's like I control one party member. Because if that's the case, I will purposely try to sabotage us. That might be interesting to some people. That's a putrid piranha. It's a poisonous piranha plant. That color is totally sickly. 
Max HP is eight. I don't care about that. It bites and it attacks with super rank poison breath. Breath mint table four. If you get poisoned, your HP will slowly go down. So you know, try not to. Thanks, babe. So they're Malboros. Malboros could do more than just poison. Has anyone heard about that new Final Fantasy game that came out like a month ago? The Let's Kill Chaos game? Yeah. I heard about it. Anyone talking about it? Is it any good? I don't know. All I heard from... Oh, damn. It, admittedly, um, grain of salt when you're talking to the employees of a video game store if a game is good or not. Well, sometimes they're legit. And they'll just be like, no, it's garbage, don't mm -hmm. play it. But they said the combat was good? But that's all he would elaborate on? <laughs> He's like, oh yeah, I really love the combat. Anything else? <laughs> is it open world? Is it linear? Is it... Did you ever stream uh, Four Guys in a Car? No, I never streamed 15. That's a pity. That's a very cinematic game. It's very pretty looking. Yeah, but... For a Devil May Cry-esque. It's also a re It has ungodly load times on the PS4. But... What about the PS4 Pro? Probably a little bit better. Excellent. Oh, if you'd like to borrow it and stream it, be my guest. <clears throat> I might. It's a consideration for a future title, though I'd rather have company while playing it. And I wouldn't mind being there. And you know, I could try something really funny with that. Yes. If we stream a game on the PS4, I could technically, if I get a little creative, stream it on both our channels simultaneously. I'm not sure that's a good idea. Okay. I still could. Yeah. Use the capture card. Hmm. And then stream the uh, other end from the uh, internal Sony Twitch dash. I don't have the... No, I do have this. Knock them off or loop. Oh, we got chatties. Main Vilas. Hello. Hey, Baron. It's been a while. Hulk. Pew pew. Sorry. We didn't have a, an, an active chat thing in front of us. Uh, I'm going to fix that over here for Baron. Oh, thank you for that. Yes, and once again, I am sorry we didn't respond quickly. Yeah, yeah. My bad, my bad. How are you today, Main Vilas? Am I pronouncing that correctly? I don't know. I think I ask that every time mm -hmm. they're in chat. If it's main vilus or manivilus. They say good good. Oh, that's good to hear. Are you able to like the movement getting yeah, your attention I can, there? I can see it. Okay. Usually. Okay. Good, good, good. Good, good. Glad to hear, Main. Glad to hear. Does Main have a Twitch channel we should be following? I don't remember. Main, do you have a Twitch channel? I'll drop you a follow. Oh no. Redeemed hurt me more. Pick something. Wait. What do you mean by pick something? I think you choose how to make the game harder. Mm. In that case, I'm deferring to you. Oh shit. Okay. So for... The next little bit, um, I guess, no um, star powers. But it's okay if I gain star points. 
Yeah, you can gain okay. star points. You just can't use it, like the sweet treat and all that. None of those abilities. All right, then. Because you've been using them for, like, Healy shit. Honestly, I in recovery, so you know what? <clears throat> fuck you. All right, fuck me. I mean, we don't have a camera. It wouldn't be very fun for you anyway. It'd be an ASMR. <laughs> Ooh, main approves. Yes, Baron's been getting quite comfortable with that set of abilities. Really, I've I've not been using it nearly as much as I could have been. And let's say f you can't use it until you beat the next boss type enemy. Now, when you say boss, is that the final? Is that the end of this chapter, or is that um? The next major enemy? Yeah. <clears throat> hmm. I always consider a boss, like, uh, a unique, strong enemy type. Okay. So there will be one of those, I believe, before the chapter's over. I'm thinking I'm probably not going about this the right way. Or we just do it for the rest of this playthrough. You don't get to use star power. Well... That case. will be up to Maine, who redeemed the points. Maine, is there a Damn, time limit? I made it. I... I don't know why I like doing this with my shirts. I drape them over both knees and just spread it out like a big circus tent. Ah. Uh, option boss. So you can't use the star powers until you beat the next boss. Okay. Otherwise it seems unfair. Main has showed you mercy. Thank Main. Should I really be thanking him? But, as you wish. Ah, Princess Bride quotes. That's cute. <laughs> Have you even seen the movie? So, who was voicing Bobbery? I think you were. No, I think you were, actually. Oh. These cursed goats! Goats! These cursed goats! Boing all over the place! Blast it all! By blubberly's blotches! Is that Mario over there? You're alive, old boy! Right, you came just in the nick of time. Get these two out of here this instant! I want to die a warrior's death! Uh, what about you, Admiral? You've got to get out of here, too. <coughs> Just leave it to me, eh? I'll keep these ghouls busy while you get out of here. No, 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 no. Flee! That's an order! Let me do what I must do. And yes, I have seen The Princess Bride. It was on Lugia's movie night recently, and I was the one who nominated it. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Now I'm in with you! No, no, no. Have I not seen Princess Bride? That's inconceivable. No, it's inconceivable! Sorry. So that's Yoshi's line, I believe. Is it? Or is that the the dude right here? Oh, well... Well, Bobbery here thinks it's the right thing to do, so what are we waiting for? Scraminos! Oh... Bobbery, please forgive our cowardice. Meanwhile, in the distance, never! We up and left you, and everything was happening so quickly. Forgive <laughs> us! Never! Gone, eh? Excuse me, but I'd better be going also. Those little bitty hopes. And, hey, you! Out there in front of the TV. Yeah, I'm talking to you! Really? Because he's looking off to the left. I may be pretty. It may be pretty obvious to you who I really am, but no telling Mario, or else. The fuck is wrong with that guy? <laughs> you out there in front of the TV? Did this guy go nuts or what? Shake the bush. 
There's a snowman down there. Yes, but how will I get down there? Waiting to be saved. Look around. Wait, what did I see snowman? Yes, I did. Can you drop down from the top? No? How? Maybe there's a, a thing on the wall to the right of it? Oh, this. Yeah, this is probably how you get there. Out of curiosity, I'm gonna go here first. It might lead over there. I can get you some coconuts. To be honest, it ain't tasty. Yeah, let's drop the carrot shell. The things I do for love. <laughs> there, into the drink with you. Play like keep away. Alright, let's see if I can do this. Oh, you probably dropped down from... I think I see it. Because there's a spring there. Hopefully it's not a trap. Hmm. I've actually been wanting to get a hold of Security Breach. It actually looks good. I don't have the inventory space for it. I'll leave it for now. You're giving me that judgy silence that tells me I just suggested a bad game to play. No, not necessarily. <laughs> I want to think I need the coconut for something. I forget if it's Zesty or if someone says, Oh, we must have coconuts, Mario! I think it's Zesty. You can make something really good with coconuts, if I'm not mistaken. Mm. Well, I'll do it for now. So this is how a legend of the sea meets his end, eh? No, they're attacking my seamen. <laughs> what a sticky situation we gotten into with I, the captain of the salty seas. <laughs> Man, I guess he's in the tree. Yes, get it because they're fires. You think a bunch of fire elementals like trying to attack a bomb would really just end badly? You might think that. I've never played Paper Mario, so this is interesting. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad you're enjoying, mate. Yes, I do hope it's entertaining. Now, this is uh, this is the sequel, Paper Mario: Thes in Your Door. Uh, the original and this one are probably the best of all the Paper Marios, my opinion. Uh, the rest are pretty much garbage. Again, my opinion. Fair enough. I think the one for the Wii had some interesting story elements to it, but it was not an RPG at all, I think. You had HP, but that was it. Mm -hmm. And uh, Paper Mario Sticker Story, uh, I played it, I beat it, it was... It was bad. So who's the other person talking? Well, that's, that's Baron. <laughs> yes, uh, right now you hear Baron, and the other person is Balefear. I am Balefear. We occasionally do these uh, co-streams. Oh, the pain of it all! There's my hip. Mario, old boy. I think I landed on a <coughs> music box. I think those blokes got me a bit better than I thought. Mario, you see my last request? I must thank you for taking me out to sea one last time. I am always willing to take you to sea, man. Oh, there's one thing I need before I go to my rest. Chocola Cola. Wasn't that from Superstar Saga? I think so. I've saved that one bottle. My last memory of Scarlet to celebrate reaching. I saw it among the flotsam drifting toward the island, so it must be somewhere. I mean, yeah, technically it's somewhere. <clears throat> I might just have one sip before my final voyage. <laughs> Get me that Chocola Cola, old boy. Oh, how convenient. 
Got my FP back. Water matey, you be driving me nuts! Bite pouch. This sounds like something you'd use. <laughs> well, it is my family coat of arms. <laughs> Those five simple letters S M I T E briefly does half damage to all foes who attack directly. I'm not going to take it though. Fuck that. You're just going to drop it out of spite? Mm hmm. That's what it would have wanted. Exactly out of spite. It's proud of you. Well, we'll solve that puzzle later. We can't without Flavio. We need his mustache? Flavio, we must ask you to solve this puzzle. I'm trying to remember what kind of voice you gave Flavio. I remember. Good, good. It's one of my easier to do voices. Uh, it's also one that I occasionally use in the bedroom and it really upsets my wife. And as soon as I say that, I, she knows exactly which one it is. Cookie! Yes, hello, Cookie. The puns are real, and the points don't matter. Hmm. Let's see. So, we got a bit of a crowd. I can go ahead and tell the story and fully embarrass my missus, who is probably in chat right now. Um, so... I forget what I was doing. I, I think I was, like, vacuuming uh, under the computer desk. I had to crawl under there and, like, get to the vents and stuff yes. to get the dust off. I got down there. I finished it up. I turned the vacuum cleaner off, and as I was backing up, I felt something grab my butt. And from out of nowhere, I hear my wife go, Oh, no, stephusband, what are you doing? <laughs> Lost my shit. <laughs> I don't know if you're familiar with that, uh... Thanks to Bomb, I am, because okay, it's good. one of his sound effects. Good! Good. On the subject of cleaning, uh, I have told my, uh, I told my wife at one point, I was like, hey, when we get some money coming with this new promotion and these better hours, <clears throat> I'm going to, uh, I would like to buy, like, a little more alcohol. Now, I'm not alcoholic. As you know, can attest, Baron, I can make one bottle of tequila last me a fucking year. Yeah, this uh, bottle he's got here, he bought it before he met me. <laughs> it's an old bottle. A nice 84 vintage Jose Cuervo. No. Um, but I didn't have any, because I finished off that uh, tequila I got as a wedding gift. Um, it was half a bottle, but I took it. Okay, it wasn't really offered. I just fucking took it. Um, well, the other day, uh, I decided, well, I'm going to clean up a little bit around the desk. And guess what? You know how I had that empty rum bottle behind the television? It's not fucking empty! Hmm. There is half a bottle! I was waiting for that to happen. Oh. I, I knew it was going to come. I hate that sound. Oh, that hurts. Half a bottle of fucking Kraken black spiced aged vanilla rum. Would you like a smell? I can smell. I smelled it before. It smells. It smells like you burnt vanilla in the kitchen and then you tried to pour something on top of it to mask the scent and you just made it worse. You're just fueled by alcohol. Like Ferrum and ah. Bender. And fire. Well, it doesn't have to be fueled by alcohol. It can be, though. Yes. You ever had a mouthful of tequila and decided to blow it onto a campfire to see what would happen? It's about what you would expect. Fireball. Badass, too. Scared the shit out of at least three people. <laughs> Which is funny, because there was only two other people there. It scared the shit out of me, too. I didn't think it would work. Uh, more green fuzzies. Mmm, suck me, daddy. <laughs> Take me to dinner first. Wishful. It tastes like burnt vanilla, too. Oh, that's right. I got you to taste some of it. 
You want to have Vivian burn them all to yes, everything? Yes, Ashes? I was about to say burn them all to vanilla, but I really need to just find a new topic. Ashes. Burn them all to ashes. Has anyone told me that you are very sudden? No. What does that mean? Main. Explain. Elaborate. Doesn't... Wait, that was in, uh... Torg? Has the line? It's like... That was a big word! Elaborate! Hmm. Borderlands 2, I think, he said that? Maybe. Maybe one of the DLCs. Oh, we got a level! Burst of yelling suddenly. Oh, yeah, every now and then I get... <clears throat> I get a bit loud. I'm sorry. I can... Making me jump that much here. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mm. Oh, um. You know, for the past four plus levels, I've, uh... I think I've gone with BP. So it's about time I spice things up and get more BP. There you go. So I'm going to adjust the mic uh, away from me a little bit. Because uh, uh, I think Baron speaks a bit quieter than I do, so it's probably best to have it away. That should even it out. A little bit. Hey, wish will Bill just telling us embarrassing stuff. Oh, look! It does make another row for BP. Oh, it does! So it just expands the box. Mm hmm. Interesting. And now I've got three BP to spare. Mm -hmm. You feeling pretty lucky? Oh, that. you might need that because you don't get star power anymore. Right. <laughs> now, if I happen to have any of these equipped that affect star power, I'm going to take them off. I don't think I do, though. Are you guys in the same house? No, but we are in the same room. You're not wrong. Right. Yeah, we are in this. We're, we're at my house right now. Uh, I got it set up on my equipment to uh, stream through his GameCube, through my computer, uh, via his uh, Twitch account. Yes. And if you've ever seen one of those, like, eccentric, no one believes them, they must be crazy scientists, and how they're office looks like wires going everywhere. That is currently my desk. We kind of Frankensteined it up. It looks like it's uh, probably a scene from uh, an episode of X-Files. I even have the bulletin board. I wonder if having Sleepy Stomp might be worth it. Do you just take more damage when they're sleeping? I don't think so, but it does, you know, put one out of commission for a little bit. Confuse. I've never tried confusion in this game. That could be fun. Yeah, it, it's pretty awesome. I do dig the aesthetic. Uh, the only thing is when I take it, take everything down, uh, because of the GameCube and it being an older system, I like to seal it in a bag when we're not using it. Um, I have to slowly unplug everything so I make sure I know what cord goes where. But, yeah, uh, if you are not aware, Maine, uh, Baron is, his home is literally a quarter of a block away from mine. Hmm. Like, it, it took him, like, less than ten minutes to walk here. Probably, like, seven. Hmm, doesn't seem I confused it. What well, doesn't always work. Okay. It even says in the description, if you have multiples of that badge equipped, it is more effective. I think it means they stay confused longer. Maybe fuzzies are immune to confusion. Because in their original appearance, they made you dizzy. I see. That is truly fascinating. Is it now, Snape? It is, Mr. Potter. Mr. Potter. Yes. Cast me a spell. Ba, 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 ba. In my class, you're not doing, doing so well. well. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> I love that sketch, sketch idea you had. <laughs> I'm going to put some stuff in storage for now. 
I'm here to store. Well, actually, we just call it shopping in these parts, but okay. I'm gonna put the coconut away. I think I may just sell the mini, Mr. Mini. Go for it. Get your money's worth. Ahoy there, and welcome to my um, tent. I sell the shit we found on the shore. We could use it for survival, sure, and in, ensure our safety, but I want to make money. Probably gonna need at least one super shroom, thanks to the restrictions I'm under. The blue ones are super shrooms? Yes. I thought they were like cured freezing or something. No. Just from looking at them, not the title or description, but from looking at them, you'd think. You think you think, but I don't always think you think. I mean, I know you think. That's what I think. But I don't think I think. I think you may be onto something. Oh, Bobbery! Okay, we need to find that Chocola Cola. Maybe it's on the screen to the left. Honestly, any of these other bombs would do just as well, but whatever. Bobbery's unique. Or do you think that bottle I left behind happened to be his Chocola Cola? What bottle was it? It was that one that I dropped down to near the spring. I don't know. But just in case, we're going to talk to Fabulous Flavio. <clears throat> ah, you are still alive! Well, we have some fortune left. Such relief for Flavio. I thought some jungle beast was snacking on you. Well, everyone is accounted for. Uh, now, wait one moment. Uh, am I wrong, or are we still one man short? <laughs> That's right! B Bobbery sacrificed himself to save us from the g g g ghosts Sorry, I had to get a little shaggy there. Please, we've got to go back and help him! What lunacy burst forth from your mouth? Admiral lives! What fortitude! Mario, front and center. Come on, up front. I entrust you with the mission to save our dear Admiral. I'm going to take my nose and I will notch you on each shoulder. Hmm? What is that you say? Coca-Cola. Well, why, why, why would I have that? <laughs> but, uh, yes, by the way, uh, Flavio's very curious. What do you, uh, need it for? What now? The Admiral may soon perish, and he wants to drink it as his last wish. Ah, so what we are dealing with here is a sort of last request, am I correct? Duh, bitch! Well, Flavio has no choice. I found it on the beach, but for this noble cause... Fuck it. However, this Dakota Cola is part of my, I mean, our supplies, which we need to survive. Right, we definitely need soda. Coconut. So I need to find something to eat to replace this. Oh, this, uh, do not budge. Um, yes. I'm sure there is something on this island that would be a suitable replacement. Do you oh. have any nuts Flavio could put in his mouth, preferably of the cocoa variety? Uh, no, not store. Withdrawal. Get ready. Breath of Fire 2, the fishing part. Or is it Breath of Fire 3? Three? 3. Shit! So what will you give me in exchange for this delectable Cola Cola? Hmm? How about my hammer? That seems quite delicious. High and iron. Make it good. I'm the editor of Fox Gourmet Weekly, so I know my delicacies. That is a big nut you just put on my face, Mario. Aha! Coconut, is it not? Well, that is island fare, but somewhat cliched. Well, perhaps I had set my hopes too high for a forging non-gourmand such as you. Oh, cool. Like, teaching? Or, like, attending? Studenting? Well, here you go. Take your cola cola and give my regards to, uh, the Admiral. I hope he fucking likes it. Actually, it's Bobberies. Who'd I say? No, that was the description. Oh, okay. 
tell him to whack the bouquet, swizzle it gently, and save her all the fine fizz and eggs. Actually, we're good on flower points, so... Yes, save often. I'm gonna say, I was thinking about spending the night here first, but nah, we're just saving. We've already had disc read issues pre-stream. Pre-stream still sounds like a dirty word. It sounds what? like a porn prep term. What's wrong with my pre-stream? That. See, that's exact. So, okay, you, you are hearing it. Oh, I'm hearing it. Canned is doing a free program to train people for PSW or personal support workers fail. Uh, basically working nursing homes, all that jazz. A six week training and four months paid internship. Try not to give you paper cuts while you're playing. Hello, Hectics. Yes, hello, Hectics. Now I'm wondering if Hectics has been here the whole time because the color on my screen is almost identical to the color of Cookie. I am a little sorry about... I, I'm kind of sorry about Undertale earlier, but... Uh, I kind of made a few mistakes on making dinner and it slowed me down. See, in my head, I had this grand scheme thinking, oh, yes, Hectic likes to do the Undertale stream early. I'll take care of that, and then when it's over, it'll be just in time to go to Bale Fears. Okay, that thing just sucked off some FP. I mean, that's what they do. They're good at it. Oh? More damage? Less damage? More experience? The Cenobites are coming. <laughs> Open the hell cube. Oh, Pinky's down. Fear for the condition of our GameCube controller when you <coughs> use that move. Because <laughs> there's never been a time in my life where I can actually hear the wear and tear on a gaming accessory. Uh oh, the stage is about to fall. Mm hmm. Oh, good! How was that? Hell yeah! Perfect dodge. I don't know how you phased through the stage, but good job! These are paper people. That's what they do. Paper is known for its trans-dimensional properties, right? Is that why paper cuts take you to a whole new world of pain? Maybe. You ever sliced your hand open on a piece of corn husk? Can't, Can't say it. I have. Cannot advise it. Very painful. All right, thanks, Hectics. What the fuck was that? Well, that was me doing the st double stylish on it. Oh, because it looked like three stylish just popped up. Ah, mistimed the last one. All right, let's see if I can use gulp. Just hold it and walk up. That was pretty good damage. It brought them both to like half. Have you ever seen gameplay of uh, Mario uh, Rabbids game? No. Do you know of it? I know of it. The strategy game? Have mm. Luigi moved behind this pillar? Have Mario moved behind this block? Pull out their guns and have them shoot at the enemies. I think I saw some YouTube memes about that. That uh, Mario taking on John Gotti. It's not a bad game. It is very challenging. 
Um, very much so. But it's got one of uh, my favorite Princess Peach scenes ever. It Her is. intro. Um, spoiler alert. Um, when you're growing up uh, against this, it's like a frozen Yeti boss. And um, Peach comes uh, riding in on her parasail, gliding through the air. And she's got one hand on it, and she's got the other hand just like off to the side behind her back. And she's like, hee hee, hello. And Mario's like, oh, princess, or whatever. Um, and then the Yeti turns its attention to her and looks up, and she pulls a shotgun out from behind her back midair and fucking blasts a shot into its face. Wow. Like... Holy fuck. I think I'm going to have to look this up on YouTube sometime. We can look it up uh, post-stream if I remember. Alright. I see post-stream doesn't sound dirty. Maybe if we shorten the term pre-stream and just call it preem. No. No. That is worse. That's a word with a taste. I do not care for that. Did you get it with the hammer on the way up? Yes. That's not fair. I'm trying to watch my sudden outburst of volume so I do not scare Maine out of the chair. Wait, that's not the ability I wanted. Here we go. Oh, I have a lot of points. What can I redeem in your channel to make your life miserable? Hmm, I'll do this. We've had one redemption for those uh, who weren't here for uh, Hurt Me More from Maine. Uh, it was left to our decision and Baron uh, passed the buck, <coughs> copped out of responsibility, um, and had me pick. And I chose no star powers until he beats a boss. All right. He has to <clears throat> earn them. Now I'm going through and just seeing what I can find. Oh. Oh! I got one. Yes. There we go. What was that? My second? Third one? I forgot if it... It's probably not your third one. I think it's my second, though. I definitely have gotten that before. Fuck, I just wasted my points on, like, your most expensive one. I don't even remember what it does! Well, Bill here, you have received a second blessing from Baron. Like the first one, uh, let's see, I, we'll say the first one was for attack power. This one enhances your defense by uh, ten times zero. Gee, thanks. The description even says it does nothing. Oh, Hectic says it's my third. Really? <laughs> well, I need to remember this date and uh, log it on the um, About tab. <laughs> Foolish He-Man! Oh, I didn't know if you were going for Skeletor Papyrus there. I mean, well, they're both skeleton men. Yes. Hmm. Foolish human child! <laughs> ah, Sans! Your jokes, they're so bad, they hurt! Yeah, I know. That's pretty good sounds. Thanks. Ah, <laughs> uh, that distinctive bouquet. You, you've brought it. <clears throat> Gulp, slurp. Uh, this glorious flavor, dear boy, it awakens the mouth. So the sea was generous enough to deliver me this one last grace. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Well, fair enough. We don't know you're a gobline. That's a goblin. But yeah, goblin power. Goblins for life. Goblin. Awesome. I have, I have nothing left in this world now. Thank you for granting my last wish. Now I shall be reunited with my dear Scarlet. Farewell, Captain Mario. Mario. I didn't have the heart to tell him it's Captain Toad. <laughs> you see, I have a doctorate. <laughs> Do you think Mario's last name is Speedwagon? Mario Speedwagon. 
All right. I'm gonna guess. You do not get that reference. I don't. That is awesome. <laughs> he just went to sleep. What? What? Yuppie, yuppie. Pirates! Where are those pirates? <clears throat> Not quite with it yet, huh? What? Oh, Mario, if I hit you, you have adventures in the afterlife as well. Capital! Hey, you're still alive, you nutcase. Ah, oh, yes, well. Really? This isn't a tropical paradise for fallen sailors? Oh, right. Now, call my old boy, we still have work to do! Mm hmm. You'd better take me with you, I should say. Ah, uh, yes, the movie. Oh, no. No, no, no. Yeah, Mario, Mario. And I'm Luigi Mario. <clears throat> I'm sure my sea legs and explosive personality will be rather useful. Personally, I explode. So, two weeks from now, I can do another nomination on movie night because we're watching my move, my choice this week. Oh no! You think I should finally go with the Mario movie? Yeah. Because I've I've also kind of wanted to, to nominate a horror film. I mean, it's horrible. <laughs> The only thing they did good is uh, picking a good actor for Mario, and that's it. That is it. Everything else is awful. I don't care what he's in, I'll always see John Leguizamo as Luigi. Is he a stand-up comedian by trade? I. He's been in other movies. One of the uh, M. Night Shyamalan ones as well is he played Tybalt in that absurd Romeo and Juliet movie that took place in Florida. Wasn't that one called Romeo and Juliet? <laughs> yes. I think that was the actual name. Well, if I just say Romeo and Juliet, you don't know which version. That's fair. That is fair. Someone named his fucking SMG Longsword. Yeah. Papa Capulet hears about the fight that's going on in his limo, and he pulls I'm down sorry. a price. Stop! <laughs> Stop! No wait, no wait. I think it was Montague actually. What did you call him? Papa Montague. No. Or Papa Capulet. Papa Capulet. <laughs> I think I was wishing it was the Capulet father, but I really think it was Mon <laughs> It was probably Romeo's dad, so it's not as funny. Damn. <laughs> If I had any artistic skills whatsoever, I would try to draw a Papa Capulet. <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> well, maybe this will help you. That is so stupid and brilliant. Oh my god. So I remember that song Flavia was singing earlier? That's the solution mm -hmm. to the puzzle here. But I think we actually have to have him in tow. Main wants to make uh, their son watch it, and the wife likes that movie. I mean... Now, wait, when you say that movie, do you mean the Romeo and Juliet one or the Mario Brothers movie? I'm, I'm thinking Romeo and Juliet. I'm thinking Romeo Because it's hard to imagine I, anyone liking the Mario Brothers movie. If you changed a couple of names to make it where it had nothing to do with Mario and Luigi, that would have been a halfway decent campy sci-fi film. But as soon as you went, no, this is Mario. Garbage. Garbage. It's kind of like, hey, we made some Resident Evil movies. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. How close are you to the source material? Characters. That's it. And for the first few films, it was barely even that. It's like, well, what happens? Well, the T-Virus causes everything to become a Mad Max dystopian post-apocalyptic world. No. no. No, it fucking doesn't. It even says at the beginning of that movie... The T-Virus wiped out most of the plant life and caused droughts. How? It, it, did it infect clouds that have no organic structure? And Sorry I don't for... know why, because I saw the Monster Hunter movie. I own it. And I don't know why every Capcom movie 
has Mila Jovovich in it, but then I found out. The guy Capcom has hired to produce their movies? That's her husband. Yeah. He is making double money for their household by just putting her in the films. Not that she's a bad actress, but she's getting now associated with bad films. Yes. Also, the Monster Hunter movie was so much fucking garbage. Oh, I've heard. I am a huge Monster Hunter fan. I am a hunter for life. That shit pissed me off. Were you expecting any better from... To give you an idea, I, 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 me and my wife sat down and watched it. Because I was so excited for it. I had to pause the movie every ten minutes to explain to her that none of this shit was canon. Every ten minutes. Pause. Alright, sweetie. What they just did there, that's not real. That doesn't happen like that. This is not this. This is not that. That weapon does not function like that. Ah, uh, making your son watch the Mario movie. And your wife likes Romeo and Juliet. Name one good video game movie. I'm sure there is one. I, I know there's one. The, the Sonic movie? Yes! The Sonic movie! I knew there was one. It was recent. Yeah. It was good. Jim Carrey does an amazing Dr. Robotnik. And his assistant makes good lattes, apparently. <laughs> it's the only reason he keeps them around is he makes reliably good lattes. I like it when someone has a minion around for just an obscure item like a snack. It's like, why do you keep them around? I was like, oh, I convinced him that interim work includes cleaning my house. Oh. Oh, you're evil. I know. He makes a mean hot pocket. Makes a mean hot pocket. I do realize those are store bought. Shh. <laughs> I do realize they are store bought. I also realized that I never can figure out how to get the microwave to fucking make it properly. Ah, it is Bobbery. Welcome back to you. Did you enjoy your drink, you little swindler? So, uh, why is it the Sonic movie doesn't count? So, you want us to name two video game movies? The second Sonic movie. <laughs> <laughs> it is good, yes, but they had to change it. Okay, okay, nah, I'll give you that. <clears throat> you know, do you know how worried with her my stomach has been most upset? I must worry about everyone here, but who worries for Flavio? No one. That's right. I, um, the first Silent Hill movie was watchable. Ooh, that was... They they did do some things to it that I strongly disagree with, but... It was good, but not great? For video game movies, it wasn't god-awful. Do you know how hard that is for me to sit here in safety and worry so much? Oh, you poor thing. Thank you. See, Baron gets it. I do not know what is out there waiting to lurch in and snack upon me. Meanwhile, the crew is like starving, creeping up on him with forks and knives. We do not even know how to get home for the sake of the blue briny sea. But no more yelling. Now is the time to pull together and work as a team. By the w Oh, go on. <clears throat> Flavio, old boy, I, I must say you talk rather too much. Such insolence! Grr! I prowl <laughs> you like an angry jungle beast. I, I ought to, anyway. Uh, so in any case, Mario, about that crystal star you spoke of earlier. There was a rather odd rock in the far east of the jungle with a skull carved into it. Hmm. Call it an old sea bomb's intuition, but that skull rock smells... suspicious. Hey, Bobbery, you wanna know what really smells suspicious? Pull my fing- Wait, I don't have fingers. Shit! Oh, he smells like low tide! <laughs> but seriously. You may be onto something with that skull rock. I say that's where the treasure is. I mean, everyone probably smells rather rank right now. Well, anyone can figure that out, you mutinous joker. I mean, how obvious. I was already saying in my head that the treasure is certainly behind that rock. And as such, I will continue the noble duty of protecting this camp from invasion. Captain Mario, carry on. I'm sorry to make so many requests, but, you know. Flavio, you old cash grabber. If you want treasure, why don't you go get it yourself? Oh, well, yes, uh, Admiral, you see, uh, Well, 
Yes, you have a point. Let us decide this fair and square, shall we? Listen to me, everyone. Who thinks I should go along to investigate the Skull Rock? Oh, heck yes! Take him, please! Have the jerk off with him. There you have it, Fluffy. Fair and square, eh, what? Um, no. Not fair, Floppy hates you all! I would love to have a screenshot of this one day. <laughs> Flavio hates you all. <laughs> Can... Oh, oh, never... No. Flavio will join you for a short time. So apparently there's some glitch involved with Flavio following you, and you can do some sort of sequence break, I think. Oh. I've got one more inventory slot. Do I keep it open for what I pick up, or...? That's on one enemy. It's all enemies, but it's weak damage. All enemies. Hmm. I think we'll be okay. But still, there have been many save blocks around lately. That's good, because if this game crashes, we're going to need them. Yes. Well, I, I said there haven't been... Yes! We are double-decker riding this child. Oh, no. Flavio likes the way his balls feel on the back of Mario's scrumptious neck. And Mario thinks his scrumptious neck needs to get the balls removed, lest he bring out the hammer. Okay, stiffly mem over. I'm confused by some of these power-ups. How is this Mario canon? Um, it's not. Technically, Paper Mario is not the same as traditional Mario. It's a separate entity. In fact, in one of the games, you play as both of them. Isn't it the the last it's... DS title? Yes, it was. The, the Mario and Luigi title. Which, if you have an opportunity to play the Mario and Luigi RPG games for the Nintendo handheld game systems, do it! You will not regret it. They are so much fun. I've actually been considering to see if I could get Mario to play on the emulator. Hmm. I strongly recommend, uh, I strongly, yeah, I recommend the first and third games. Which would be, uh, Superstar Saga and Bowser's Inside Story. So good. Yes. Yeah, the same one. That was a uh, uh, Partners in Time. Yes. That was. They had made some decisions in it that were odd, such as ter making most of the enemies HP sponges. Yeah. I remember it being a bit of a chore to beat that game. Like oh. it didn't feel fun. Wow, that sucked. Yes, it did. You're doing pretty good for not using star power. Did you ever play the last Mario and Luigi RPG game? No, I never got to try. Uh, what was it, Paper Jam? Was it? I thought it was something Dreams. Like, Luigi would dream things. <clears throat> oh, yes. I didn't finish it, but I did play it. Oh, damn. Lucky you. <laughs> I think out of all the playthroughs or sessions we've had this, that's probably your second or third jackpot. Yeah. I'm not... I don't do well with the slots. And is it... Doesn't it activate, like, every three fights you get a different one? It feel well, not quite that often, but it feels close. Hmm. There you go. Here comes a hammer. Yeah, here comes a hammer. What kind of mushroom is that? I think that's the HP regeneration one. Oh. Trembling. I didn't know what happened there for a second because I thought Mario just ran away from the fight and just left 
uh, turd face there to do is coops. I meant to say turt, like short for turtle. Yeah. And it just came out turd face. Do you have to make it stop before it fills up? It has to be just past okay, but not all the way full. I barely ever use the move. Because uh, it, like, randomly just spurts real hard. Hmm. Yeah. So, the neat thing about Miss Mouse is her basic attack ignores defense. Really? Mm-hmm. It's not very powerful, but... On enemies with high defense and low HP, it's a decimator. Yes. Hell yeah. That's a badass move. Even though you've been fighting poison damage enemies non-stop this whole time, I just it slipped my mind somehow. Full heal, right? We'll see. <sighs> Didn't time it right. What happens if they get enough MP? Is this like enemies that drain MP so they can cast a super spell like yes. Nova or Whiteout? It is. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, what's it? Remember Goombella's description? Yeah. It's that roar you saw the muse. Oh. Ooh, we almost have died. Okay, you're opening the menu. I just saw everything stutter for a second. <laughs> I got worried. Right, no, no! Believe in yourself, GameCube! Yeah, this is not being emulated. We have an actual GameCube running us. And for those who know the meme, we're playing on original hardware. Wait, that's a meme? Yes. I'm not familiar with it. Oh, the idea. Oh, you must always play a game on original hardware. Says who? Uh, a lot of assholes online. Oh, I thought it was like a Twitch guidelines thing, like, uh, no emulating games. I know some people can use will try to use that as an excuse to cop out of like Nintendo trying to shut them down for using emulated software. It's like, oh, uh, I own the original or this is definitely on the original software. Hardware. Hardware. <laughs> well, the software is original too. <laughs> it's originally belonged to someone else. All right, I think I need Bobbery out here. What is all this? A dead end taunting Flavio with its dead endness. <clears throat> but, hmm, is this. Oh, I think this is the Skull Rock Bobbery blabbered about. Blabbery, that's your new name. The positive reeks of ancient secrets. Yes, let us plunge into this puzzle. Nose first. And you just run out. Flavio's not getting his feet wet. Skull Captain cast his gaze, Red Jewel shines and plays. Boom Bassa Boom Festival, the Stash Brothers' best of friends. Three times Red Stash lands on his end. So I think Stomp Red three times. Blue Stash is barely four times as wax, so let's hear those fireworks go crack. At the Boom Bassa Boom Festival. I'm just saying it's a wild way of the time. It's not like Flavio is scary or anything. Flavio is terrifying. But do you know something? I have never been able to know that song's meaning. Was that three? Mm hmm. No. 
curious and curious Let me look at this again. Okay. Uh, this prints. Three times red, Stash lands on his end. Okay. If Stash is belly, four times his way. So let's hear those fireworks go again. I think I have to toss Bobbery on top three times. No, he'll just walk off. Um, I think it's stomp this one three times and throw Bobbery at the blue one four times. I could be wrong. Oh, wait, do you think it's, um... Jump uh, on that one three times, hit that one four times with a hammer, and then throw Bobbery at the skull for an explosion. Oh, that might be it. Alright, so let's try this part again. One, two, three. Okay. One, two, three, four. Maybe if I leave the screen and come back, it'll reset. It's okay, Flavia likes being left alone. Oh, and in the jungle. <laughs> to be possibly consumed by wild. Oh, hey, guys! Okay, wait, wait, wait. Oh. Oh, maybe we had to do that first. Skull Captain cast to say red, red jewel shines. I'm already saying that. I'm not seeing it again. If you ask me, you want Flavio to lend you something? Is is this correct? What could I possibly have that you would need with such uh, anxiousness? I want money! What? You want me to lend you the skull, Jim? You really, really need it. This is the heirloom of the house of Flavio, you know. We stole it. But I suppose it is alright because I am Flavio. He of such ludicrous wealth. I'm just lending it, though. Do not dare run off with it. Do not make me dock pay. You're not paying us. See you. Oh! Raid Lugia! Thank you very much for the raid, Lugia. Raiding with a party of four! How did, uh, how did Amy go? Amy! Wait, Amy? Um, her Sonic Hero thingy. Nailed it. What was it like playing as a superior hedgehog? The pink one. Yeah, she's got a fucking hammer. She came loaded with weapon. Emerald was easy peasy. Got all the chaos emeralds too. Oh, nice. Okay, Bobber, you got this dungeon, right? Oh, such excitement! Ah, uh, the cave entrance. Hmm? Huh? What? Ah, uh, my skull gem. Mario, what were you thinking? That gym was part of the House of Flavio. It's literally the cornerstone of the whole building. Oh, never mind, I found it. Whoa! Oh, what a happy day I have my skull gym back. My jolliness has no end. It's a good thing that skull's where it is. Yeah. Conceal his jolliness. You can see his second nose. Now then, I'm sure you're all disappointed, but Flavio must be heading back now. Alone. So, Lugia, I'm under a Hurt Me More challenge at the moment. I'm not allowed to use star power. Cannot let those back at camp worry about me further. You two understand, yes. So, let me know when you find that glittery treasure. Bring it to me. I want it. 
all mine. It's obvious people aren't normally yellow. We're actually gold-plated from birth. It's an extremely painful process. And we've got even more Flavio here. Scoffing at danger, my brave explorers entered the cave. Will they actually find the Pirate King's treasure? I tremble with anticipation. Also, dysentery. It's worth. It is worth it, Lugia. It's a really good one. Uh, if you've never played either one of them, start with the first one. Oh, he's played the first Paper Mario. Oh, okay. Well, that's a great game. He's also streamed the first Book of Mario. I have heard rumors of this. Is there really anything you need up there? Well, Lugia, I'm going to have a bit more nocturnal freedom soon. So I may be able to help you out with that uh, Book of Mario at some time. Hell yeah. The idea is that uh, he, he's not played Thousand Year Door before, but he's going to have that weird translation on, and he's going to rely on me to mostly help him with the mechanics. <laughs> so, mistakes to be blamed on me, folks. Let me ask. Normally what I do. I don't. I don't blame any mistakes here. I blame your mistakes on me. <laughs> yeah, uh, not wrong. Oh, you haven't tattled them. No, I haven't. Let's fix that. Oh my god! Fire! Mario, you really need me to identify this for you. Okay. That's a lava bubble. It's a flame spirit? Its HP and attack power may be different from an embers, but otherwise it's the same. Since it is made of fire, try not to touch it, because it, um, fire burn. Apparently it's vulnerable to explosions and ice attacks? Oh, and if you get hit by a flame attack, you might catch fire, because that's how fire works. Yeah. I feel like this is an episode of Mythbusters. Can a sledgehammer put out a fire? Yes, it can. Jumping can, because you can stomp a fire out. Alright, so let's actually have Bob re-enter combat. FYI, if you ever do plan on stomping a small fire out, like a small, like, wood or leaf fire in the backyard, try to remember you were in a hurry and put sandals on instead of shoes. Take it from someone who knows. The Elfair always gives us such great advice, folks. The best part is, is uh, not only did it singe the top of my foot, but some of the ashes went under the show and were squished between my foot and my toes. And uh, it, was just, it was just a very insightful experience. This sure was an amazing show. Yeah. Grant was, Grant was amazing. Grant had two aspects I really liked in a, in a character. No, yes. three. I'll give you th three. Grant was funny. Grant was very knowledgeable. Grant was super cute. Wait. Grant and Mahara? Uh, there's a guy named Grant on Mythbusters? Yeah. The Asian guy. Oh, him. Yeah. He built uh, robots, too. Uh, I think that was what he specialized in. Yeah, he he, he passed away oh. uh, due to illness. That's that's really unfortunate. It is. Oh, have you ever seen the um, epic rap battles of history where it's Ghostbusters versus Mythbusters? It's been a long time, but I think I have. Oh, it's so good. Oh, hey, another level! We all know where these are going, folks. Let's see. Last level, I also got BP, so I should probably raise... Yeah, let's see. I, I need to rely on FP more since I don't have star power. So I think I should probably raise my BP. You know, I still have considered doing that 
for a game stream, but I don't know what game, and I don't know how popular it would be as an idea. Mm -hmm. Um, like when you level up, roll dice, determine what stat goes up. Oh right, I was thinking about doing that, and I remember Bomb telling me something about making a um, dice roll effect for um, stream. <clears throat> Could even have one where, um, depending on what the game is, like every time a weapon drops, you have to equip and use that weapon. Out with the old and with the new. Oh, I actually saw someone do that in Dark Souls. Really? Yeah, it was one of those really damn good players. I think it was Lobos Jr. One of those crazy level one naked run types. The level one naked speed run types. That was a great battle, but Austin Powers vs. James Bond was my favorite. I don't think I've seen that one. I finally saw... At long last, Charles Darwin got in. I saw versus that. Ash Ketchum. Ketchum. Yeah! Uh, they have another one that is really well written. It's Michelangelo, Leonardo, Donatello, and Raphael versus Michelangelo, Leonardo, Donatello, and Raphael. Yes. The Ninja Turtles versus the Renaissance Artist. I know, it was weird to select all this defensive badge. Ooh. Oh. Now, how might I get that? No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. Um, how far... I think you need to get right there, because that shadow is playing on it. Oh. Do you lose HP when you do that? One, yes. Okay, no, you're fine. So just, like, go straight... Jump. Pull down. Pull up. Wait, hold on. Pull up. And wait for the ship to level out, and then jump. Here, let me try. Hold on. Oh, I don't have that move yet. What move? Ah, oh, shit. The one that uh, lets you do the twist jump. Oh, okay. No. Your paper, just walk between the spheres. Wait on the timing. Go, 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 go. Stop. Go, 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 go. Stop. Red light. Green light. Actually, Vivian's not going to be that handy here because of all the fire monsters. Aww. You could have uh, Flurry blow them out. Right. Would that work? Have her blow attack? Would it be, like, super effective on the fire monsters? It'll make them... I think she can just make them... Blow them out of the battle, I mean. Uh -huh. It'd be cool if instead that move would actually just kill them. That's a bullet bill. It attacks after being shot from a bill blaster. I'm totally gonna blast this bill. Take care of it quickly or it'll totally well into you, mosh pit style. Use those action commands and take it out, girlfriend! James Powers. Yeah, I like the name of that one. Can you fight the Bill Blasters? Yes, you can. <laughs> did you just crotch slam into a fucking cannon? I did. Yeah, woohoo! Ah! That's a bill blaster. It's the cannon that shoots bullet bills. I never knew that was what they were called. I thought they were just called cannons. 
Doesn't attack directly, but shoots bullet bills at you. I know the bullet bills are annoying, but take out the bill blaster first. Trust me. Ah, how many of those things will it shoot at us? You're so annoying! Oh my god. Pierce its defenses with uh, the mouse slap. Right, but I can't use her this turn. Oh, because you already swapped out. Mm hmm. Nice, double stylish. Ooh, you got two flowers. Are they literally about to throw a rock at you? Yes, they were. Kumbulo goes down there and, like, headbutts them. Would it be a headbutt or a body slam with her? That's a good point. Hmm. What the hell am I going to bring out for this? Actually, I will give Miss Mouse a try. I think that'll kill that one. Nice. So she does three damage regardless. Mm -hmm. If you level her up, does she do more than that? Yes. I'm going to take out the bullet bills this turn. That's probably wise. Oh, well, I thought I was going to. Good job. Hey, you took him out! Hell yeah, Baron. Hell yeah. I'm going to need Mario to take out that first one because it's low. But first, this asshole's got to go. First, got to kill someone in the crowd. Now see, that's cheap. You know Bullet Bills only take one jump to kill. I guess if I was being really cheap, I could just keep the fight going on and regenerate HP. Yeah. You got it! <gasps> More experience! Yes! Yeah! Power level! Oh no. Yes, yes, it did. Did did get that? You get twelve. Yay. I guess if you were down a level or two, you probably would have got that much anyway. Mm-hmm. Because Miss Mouse is low HP, I didn't want her out in this fight. This fight, what? Or whatever the next fight is. Oh, the Yoshi mm -hmm. glide? Do the Yoshi. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, he's a chunky boy. There's the winch here that raises the juice gate. You will need a handle to move the witch. I was going to say, at that range, can you just jump on him? Yeah. Now we got a biased crowd tonight. Oh no. What's it called? Pink ba bomb or huge ba bomb? That's a bulky ba bomb. Thank you, Goombilla. <laughs> I think it's like other ba bombs, but it's huge. I mean, it's humongous. Bulky. It's gonna be huge. It's gonna be huge. <laughs> It's weird, it never attacks, but once its fuse is lit, it'll blow up on its own eventually. I don't mind it taking itself out of the battle, but that explosion hurts us too. Oh, and when it powers up, that attack power is 8, so yeah, don't. Fire and explosions light its fuse, so I guess getting it off early is one strategy. <laughs> you can run too, but if you're going to fight, beat it before it goes off. Okay, don't use fire, don't use explosions. Uh, Fine. Will it just hurt its... Will it light its fuse eventually anyway? And that just does it prematurely? Probably. Nothing ru ruins a good battle like a premature explosion. And there it is. A 
I swear it's probably the one game that would give you Carpal Tunnel first playthrough. Nice double stylish. We took no damage from that. Hell yeah. You only got six experience, but yeah. It's about three a pop. Miss Mouse is best girl. No, Vivian. Hmm. Well, Vivian's boy. Since Bobber can take one out in a single attack. I'm currently playing modded Minecraft while I am watching you. Bale, if you want to make killing the crowd more efficient, get yourself a Ford Mustang. I'm, not, I'm afraid neither of us really follow that hectics. Well, I mean, if you drive a car through an audience, that's definitely going to, you know, take out a lot of people. Yeah? I mean, that's one way to do it. Have you ever seen, I think it's a Mustang commercial, or Camaro, I don't know, it's a uh, muscle car. But it's, um, revolutionary, uh, not maybe, the, um, uh, the Colonials and the British forces. And it shows the British soldiers marching up the battlefield and, like, the, the other soldiers marching up. And one of the British soldiers, like, pulls out a telescope. And there's George Washington with an angry face driving a muscle car. Damn it, I remember that. I fucking love that commercial! And I like the pun, Lugia. Well, I own a car. It's a Ford, and I drive it. But... Uh, no. I think we had a similar uh, chat like this at one point where someone was like, are you a gun guy? And I cocked a gun on the mic. <laughs> and uh, it was Paper Mario. It was Paper Mario, too. And uh, chat lost its ever-loving gourd. He's like, <laughs> was that a real fucking gun? It's like, you goddamn right it was. But I'm not a gun guy. I just own one rifle. <laughs> it's an antique. I don't know if it even fires. Oh, I guess that commercial even aired in Canada. Why do you assume that it must be Canadian? Because Hectix is Canadian. God bless Canada. <laughs> That's a parabuzzy, a buzzy beetle with wings. He's adorable. He's a little cutie. I guess those stats are just like buzzy. Fire and explosions seem to have no effect, so uh, don't bother. No. If you flip it over, its defense goes down to zero, so jump on it first. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. Did it really make that sound effect? Mm-hmm. Do 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 do. I can whistle a lot louder than that, but uh, it drives Baron into fits of physical rage and violence. So I will not. That's wise. I can do a really low pitch one. Damn right, I'm Canadian. I'm proud of it, Chuck's maple syrup. Remember those wooden train whistles as kids? Yes. Four star points. Bale is making random sounds with small explanations. Now, how am I gonna get that one? Right? No, no, no. Um, can you shoot coops from here? Oh, wait, yeah. Like that, and then go over there, and then hit it with your hammer. A little lower. You're welcome! All That's right. not what I thought was going to happen, but... You're welcome! Mm -hmm. You're welcome, Mr. B. I think it was... I was thinking Little Sisters at first when he said Mr. B. Harley Quinn is a little sister. Oh... Just like a little dress, but she's had to rip it into two pieces so it looks more like a bikini <laughs> with her proportions as she's walking around with a stabby needle. 
But she's holding it needle first and just slamming it to the side of people's heads. Turn back. Return the slab. Ooh. Go no fuck you. Thanks, Laguna. That would have been Ward. Was it? Yes. Ah, damn my almost accurate game quotes. Um, why would you talk about maple syrup? Pretty sure even Canadians don't do that. You never met this Canadian. Oh damn, didn't even do that. They got maple syrup for everything up there. They probably have a maple syrup soda and maple syrup water, and they're just called maple syrup. It's irrelevant. You can just pour it on your pancakes regardless. Kind of like the sweet tea I used to make here at the house. As thick as pancakes there. No, the bottom, uh, the bottom of it was. Mm -hmm. All that sugar just kind of settled at the bottom because there was too much to dissolve. I think I know someone who can help out with this. <gasps> Sketh. Oh, have him eat one. Oh, good luck passing that. Oh, damn. Yeah, that'll do it. How much FP does Gulp take? I think four. Mm. But it pierces defense and hits two enemies. Yes. Now, does it pierce defense for both enemies or just the one that is shot at? I think it pierces defense on both. Uh, that it does more damage to the first enemy, though. Really? Yeah, you noticed the uh, one in front took more damage? No, I didn't. I wasn't paying that much attention. But hey, good on you. Or at least I think it did. That's a skull. Mm-hmm. I've never actually chugged a bottle of it, but I probably would. Uh, if you do, get, get like the low sugar or the zero sugar one. I don't want y'all getting sick. You know what? Go for it. That's up to you. Oh, I see what I have to do. Coops! No, that didn't work. Shapoopy! Yeah, I think you can make it. Now, if Coal Mine 13 was here playing with us. He would not have made <laughs> that. Coops got crushed. Would not have made that jump. Did you just press Coops? I just got Coops crushed. Look, okay, you're getting a little wrinkly there, Coops. Uh, I'm gonna have to press you. Now let's see. Uh, but yeah, now you have to set it off again. No. Do you not? Does it just go up on its own? Oh. I had to hit it for every one of those. Yay! How many of those do you need to do an upgrade? Um, just a few per partner. And, um, Three? I'm also going to do a side quest to get the up arrow. But that's after I get back to town. The what? Yeah, there's a key item called the up arrow that lets you get another rank for your partners. Oh. And unlock their, like, super hidden moves? Yes. Excellent, excellent. I don't think there's much left to this chapter. I'm sorry, I thought you would have encountered like a mini boss by this point and would have gotten to use your star power by now, but I I'm I'm so sorry. Why? Well, because like Main said, it would have been mean to make you not be able to use it the entire sesh, but it's kind of looking like it. Ah, uh, yes. Objection! Isn't that what he does? Like, he slaps the table. He'll slam... He'll slam down... Objection! Objection. Overruled. Overlord. Oh, wait, you had it right. Well, I thought I should say it because I voiced the judge. That judge was such a fucking idiot. I don't know how he kept his job. It's the legal system. Not just in America or Japan, but... Mostly America. Anywhere. Oh, wait. I don't think I have to do this.
Oh. I mean, you kind of... No, I don't have to use Vivian. I just need to stop at certain points. Oh, you're rolling up with the Vivian there, huh? So that's how that's how you roll, huh? Mm-hmm. I roll with Viv. Good, good, good. Your face is over. He kept his job if he kept his job if he didn't. The shotgun that was up his ass would blast him. That was another meme on our playthrough. Vivian, you're kinda of creeping me out with that. Okay, thank you. What? I got a lot of tail. God damn right she does. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. What kind of enemy brings a face to a hammer fight? That guy fucked around and he found out. That's right. <laughs> hmm. I know what I must do. But I don't know if I have the strength to do it. That's why I'm bringing my turtle friend out. Go, go, turtle power. No, wait. Something seems off here. Except that there was a live-action crossover between Ninja Turtles and uh, Power Rangers. It was a two-episode special. Huh. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Ninja Turtles had a live-action uh, TV series. Very short-lived. Uh, it was not good. They even tried adding the uh, female Ninja Turtle, Venus, mm -hmm. who also had... A blue bandana, just like Leonardo, which is kind of weird. Because if you didn't get a good look at one, you'd think it was the other. Um, but yeah, there was a... Uh, Double experience. Crossover episode where the Ninja Turtles were helping the Power Rangers, and they even got invited to the Power Rangers, like, secret hideout. But it turns out, the Ninja Turtles were secretly under mind control and were sabotaging the Power Rangers hideout. And that was awesome. Blasphemy. It happened! It was a thing! There, it's, it's, it's real. I'm sure it's on YouTube somewhere. You can look it up. Hmm. Now, I liked Season 1 <coughs> Power Rangers. Season 1 Power Rangers was the best. Uh, Beetleborgs was super fucking campy. Ah, uh, damn, I can't target anything behind it, so... Oh, no. Alright, here's how we're gonna do it. Big, bad, Burn it. Aw, uh, you gotta head out to Lugia. Ah, uh, thank you for the raid, and have a good night, Lugia. Have a good night! Exterminate! We are the Daleks. I really find it weird that Doctor Who has been around for ages, longer than we've been alive. Yes. But it wasn't until, like, eh, ten years ago that it spiked in such popularity. It was everywhere. The merch was everywhere. Everyone was talking about it. Everyone loved it. And then, almost as quickly, no one talks about Doctor Who anymore. <laughs> like, it's, it's out. It's over. Like, I mean, I know it's real. I know people are... Well, watching it. they've made some decisions in the recent series that a lot of people did not like. The two uh, doctors I did like was the ones actually at the peak. The uh, guy who's in a lot of British shows. Um, they're, they're all guys that are in British shows. You know what? You're right. That's on me. Um, he wore like the, the Bill Nye looking outfit. Like, he had a brown coat and he had a little bow tie. He's one of the newer ones. I think he was, like, the favorite of this generation. I have not seen a single episode, so I'm afraid I can't help you there. And then there was another one that they had um, right before him that um, looked like he could be involved in some sort of soccer hooligan British mafia. He looked like a hitman more than anything, and I was like, oh, okay, cool. So, that's a Doctor Who? Mm. Get low. With your hoe. Oh, come on. Struck first, like Fred Durst. Look, Biscuit. 
Um, you know what? For those not into the I musical mean, genre, you probably are thinking I'm saying random shit right now. I mean, if you've got one, uh, my, my apologies. I, I hear they make treatment for that. You gonna mess with Limp Bizkit? You don't wanna mess with Limp Bizkit. Why? Because we do it all, every day and every night. See this platinum thing right here? We're doing it all the time, so uh, better get some better beats and uh, get some better rhymes. Okay. Alright, great! I listened to that song too much, apparently. Did you guys ever watch Psych? I saw um, a handful of episodes on it. I thought it was delightful. It's an odd word. Do people still use that? It's still part of the English lexicon, yes. Yeah, it was um, a thing. It was a goat. That's cool, comparing things to goats now. Okay, great. I remember the movie about men who yell at goats. <laughs> what well, do you know about the show side? I've seen advertisements. Do you know what it's about? Um, psychological horror, maybe? No. Um, if I'm remembering correctly, it's kind of like a, a comedy cop show where uh, this one guy um, is actually, like, he's a fucking genius. He's brilliant. He's, like, master detective, but he doesn't take it seriously, so he just jokes around to everyone about how he's a psychic, and now he's playing that up. Hmm. And even the police he's helping are just like, oh, he's psychic. And he's like, yes, I foresee this happening. And it's just like... How did you know? And he tells his buddy, he's like, oh, it's obvious if you just look at all this here that this was going to happen. I'm really dumbing down the explanation, but I think that's about it. Oh, nice. All right, cool. Oh, he has perfect memory recall. Hmm. But yeah, it was a fun show. It was a fun show. It's just that um, it was in the last, for the last uh, 15 or so years, it's been really hard for me to watch series regularly because I have, I think you call it like an open schedule, which means they can schedule me whenever they want, wherever they want, so I might get to watch it this week. I might not ever get to watch it for months. It's been a long time since I've watched a series either because I usually don't give a shit. <clears throat> well, I have a couple of series you could borrow I think you'd really enjoy. Oh. Wow, you actually sounded legitimately interested in that offer. Oh, good, I'm finally faking it properly. Wait! No, that's fine. I actually had a good one you could have borrowed. You would have probably really enjoyed it, but, you know, it's, it's fine. It's Good Omens, based on the book by Neil Gaiman yes, and I, Terry Pratchett. It, it's a book, so there's a better chance I have heard of it. <laughs> yeah, it's a really good book, made by two brilliant authors. Oh, and uh, it, it was a TV series, and I happen to own the entire uh, first season. They are possibly working on a second one, but no, it's, it's fine. I'm curious, can Goombella damage this thing? Yes, she can. You can watch Psych Free on Peacock. <clears throat> So just find a peacock near you, grab it, stare into its soulless dead eyes, and watch Psych. Okay, I need to find Gary Oldman. Young man works too. Better reception. If anyone gets this joke, kudos. I don't get it. I don't know knowledge of Gary Oldman's a peacock. No, it's Gary Oldman. An actor. Well, I figured it was someone famous, or yes, there wouldn't be a reference there. He um, wait, I know a better way to deal with this. Scath, get out of here, lizard man! I know it said swap, but my mind read it as swag. Oh shit, that was a lot easier. Yes, it only took four FP. Anyway, uh, Gary Oldman played Shin in Kung Fu Panda. He also played Commissioner Gordon in the... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The um, Nolan Batman movies. He has a really good voice range. Yes. Amazing actor.
I know, have Vivian use her all hitting fire move? <laughs> and take a total of 32 damage this fight. Oh, now it's down to 24. Stylish. Not doing me any good because I can't use star power. <laughs> oh, the fuse actually visibly shortens. Oh, it boosted his defense. What a shame. <laughs> I'm going to slap that shit right off of you. Ooh, next fight might get us a leather level. Ooh. Ooh, my. Ah, George Takei. Is he dead yet? Uh, no. I feel like I have to ask that about every time a celebrity from the past comes up. <laughs> I thought you were about to say, I feel like I have to ask that every time we talk about an original Star Trek cast member. And I'm like, yep, that's pretty accurate. After Leonard Nimoy, I mean, that may as well be dead. Physical down defense up. Dark damage Mario deals and receives by one. I bet it's cheaper than the standard to, um, attack up effect. You would have. Oh no. Oh, sweet, sweet salvation. I thought no one would ever come. I had given up. I came. I saw. Oh. I recorded and posted it on port. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Spare you the prologue and just curse you already. Hmm, now, how did you know I was going to do that? No, seriously, hang on a sec. Can you just listen to my spiel for a little bit? I've been locked here forever, bored stiff, doing nothing but practice this speech. Huh? I'm already the fourth cursing chest you've met? Are you serious? So, you're saying you know exactly how this is all going to turn out. Man, talk about a raw deal. You're a twisted little guy, you know that? Oh, I think I know what you're about to get. Okay, fine, 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 fine. I get the picture, okay? Sheesh, all I wanted was to see the face of some unlucky soul when I popped out. Is that so much to ask? No. Anyway, what are you waiting for? Just open it already. You know what the key looks like, Mr. Seen It All already? Some ghost here has it. So just beat him, get it, and we'll get this fossil over. Come on now, I'm waiting. Chop, chop. Oh, there he is! <laughs> Dave, is that my cue? He already knows! Just come on out! <laughs> Give him the fucking key. Cool, and I'll just do that twice. Will Quake Hammer work on them because they're at ground level? I don't know, and I don't think it will. So close. Damn. I forget how much damage he does. He's a fucking powerhouse. Well, I did give him an attack upgrade. Specifically him an attack no, upgrade? No, the everybody? partners. Oh, okay, okay. But his doesn't pierce defense. Not that one. His he ultimate does. AP shell? Yes, hits everything on the ground level, pierces defense. I just thought of a PS1 title. Yes. Front Mission. The first Front Mission? That's on the Super NES. No, no, no. There was one on the PS1. Front Mission 3? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a possibility. No. Too Garbo? Yeah. What? I'm curious. 
These are I'm, I'm picking classic games we enjoyed as kids. <laughs> More BP. You're gonna be like an anemic kid with cybernetic upgrades. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Whoop to do. You got the key. Party time. Let me out. All right. Here we go. So you're just itching to get this over with. Ah, um. <clears throat> Wee hee hee! Fools! You dopes fell right into my absolutely brilliant trap and now you will suffer. Blah blah blah. You've seen it all. Oh yes, I'm so ill. Bow on the fo- wait, what? Hey. What was next? No, that's his next line. Oh yeah, you fools will be cursed forever for your appalling stupidity. Hold on, I have this written down here. You will rue the day you open this chest of doom. Now, you wretched guy. Oh, if you wanted some rue, I can I can make some rue. Be cursed. We he he he. Now you're cursed. Good suffer suffer suffer. You you really take the fun out of this being evil box. Yeah, that's very too much. Are you all right? That didn't really hurt, did it? We he he good uh, good squirm suffer like socially awkward worms. Now on in certain places, if you press Y, you'll turn into a paper boat. Isn't that just gruesome? I mean, you can already turn into a plane and throw into a paper thing. Just try it out so I can see you. I mean, when you stand on one of those boat panels, panel will feel your curse. Yes, yeah, stand here, slime. Feel the pain and press Y. Become a paper sub. Sorry, boat. We he he. Oh yes, yeah, such suffering. Oh, it hurts. Now you're a piddly little boat. Yes, call me more demeaning things. I'm your, I'm your cursed sub. I'll be your cursed boat. Oh yes, daddy. Wait. Well, you guys are getting there. Woohoo! You float on the water. People will laugh at you. You will be spit upon. Oh, but Daddy, we all float down here. <laughs> Yet spit on me. It only works in certain places, so don't worry. It's not too bad. That terrifying music as Mario was sailing as a boat <laughs> makes it seem like the boat's the terrifying monster. Try it, worm. When facing left, it almost looks like there's some sort of internal organ on the paper. Pain's like a tasty banquet to me. Now, do you understand your doom? Yeah, I get it. Then off with you, you jaded, cursed boat guy. I'm just gonna go back to sleep. Hey, uh, thanks for letting me do my thing. I feel better. Um, you think that guy in the chest is actually on our side? Probably not. No, I don't. He folded my body up into a fucking boat and he threw me across the water. Does that sound like something a friend does? It's the kind of shit you do to me, Mario. It's different. You float. I don't float. That's Vivian. I think there might be something hidden back here. As we all know, paper and water is a good idea. Well, you're supposed to, like, put, like, paraffin wax along the bottom of it, and that's what makes it float. Did you see any paraffin wax? Well, Mario's mustache wax would probably do it. I mean, how else could he keep a perfect mustache like that? All right, there's an explanation. S now sail away, boat guy. Sail far, far away from me. I'll sail away. <coughs> Come sail away. I'll sail away to me. Sail far away from me. I actually don't know how that song goes, but... I do know the lyrics to no song whatsoever in its entirety because even though I listen to songs constantly. You know, that makes it sound like I listen to a lot of different music. Uh, I don't. I listen to the same songs nonstop. I still don't know the lyrics to all of them. I used to have the lyrics memorized to the Lunar Silver Star Story complete songs. Oh. Wait a minute. There's some way we can get into this water. 
probably from the dock further this way. Is there? You like dodge the waves as you go through? I think so. Anyway, save point. Yes. Gold, gold, gold. Was there a dock up this way? Anyway, Coops is dead. And nothing of value was lost. Oh, it, it kind of does. And go right. You see? Does yeah. not look like there's an internal organ there. Yeah, it looks like you turned them inside out. That's gross. Do it again. Can you go down? Like, down that waterfall? Possibly, but I want to try going to the right, since that can be undone easily. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, secret tunnel! Yes. Oh! That's good. Yeah, not a bad find. Oh, right. I got more BP. Yep, you do. I did another you know, three points. I could get Mario's power up. Are there any um, status element moves you're not really using? Yes, head rattle. Cool, now you have four. Are there any on down? Has Quake Hammer been super helpful? Or Soft Stop? I have kept Quake Hammer because it lets me hit everything, even if it's not very hard. Okay. But soft maybe... Stomp. Soft Stop I'm keeping for special battles. And your allies have better, more effective ways of hitting groups. That's fair. You could make Mario your uh, single hit destroyer. This would be a move that lets me do that. Okay, but weren't you also going to give him the power up move so all his moves do one extra damage regardless? Yes. You could also increase everyone else's power. And they have a whole plethora of moves. My opinion, that's better. Because you have some that pierce defense, you have some that shoot one enemy into the other enemy, you have some that, like, shoot along the ground. Yeah, just think of all these cybernetic enhancements, as you call them. Mm. Every time I hear someone say, mmm, now I think of um, bombs... Yoda Redemption. Oh, hello, Death. This means everything if it's not very hard. That's what she said. I'll just realize you were live. Sorry for no raid. No problem. I don't like the smell of raid anyway. Why is it even scented? Ooh, new floral springtime insecticide. Don't inhale. Why are you making it a smell that people want to inhale? Why are you making a killer chemical smell like flowers? It should smell awful so you know not to be near it. Oh goody, the crank handle. Oh everybody, look what it is! Oh, hell yeah. Yes, I've got a crank emote. How do you get the crank emote as a chatter, if you will? Um, do you have to be subscribed? No, I don't think that one requires subscription. Hmm. I don't get it. Oh, I picked up a crank and I've got a crank emote, so I decided to post it. The crank's like in every Resident Evil, isn't it? Almost all of them. 
it's like there's always a crank and or a valve handle. The valve handle first appeared in two. My lethal legs. <laughs> Mario doesn't even have legs in this. He just has shoes attached to his butt. Yeah. A lot of characters don't have legs. Mario was in the war. <laughs> Lost my shins fighting Nazis. Oh, Cotton Hill. Now if you go back up there and then write it down and get the water out. Oh. Oh. I'm beginning to think this isn't an alphabet soup. It's Cheerios. Whoa, that freaky voice is making me noise again. That ghost must be nearby. It's not actually a ghost. Actually, can I go back and use this one? Nah, it's less annoying to go this way. And we're going up. Because we're also going to save again. Hell yeah. Gotta save all the time. Rest well, Hectics. Also, Death, I'm under the effect of uh, Hurt Me More. Good night, Hectics. I can't use star power for now. Not until a boss is beaten. going down. And now we get to the wave fighting, I believe. Go ahead. Fight the waves. You're powerless to stop them. Do you have to fight the waves? Or is that optional? If I could only use star power. I'd also have to have one other um, option available. I can use appeal. Because if I can't use appeal, then there's no way to generate star power if I can't attack. Hmm. Oh, the waves might not be in the screen. I think they're off to the right? Probably, but I just... You know, I've got to look. Oh, that does look like a paper-thin... Yes. ...entrance. I see what you did there. Yes, only star power for damage. That would be difficult and make the fights take forever, but yeah. So is this a required route? Yes. <gasps> wow, that sucked. Oh good, I thought it was going to make you go all the way back to the other port. At least it's not taking. If this was a speed. deep, if I was using a deep head, I'd have an easier time. Nope, I got stuck there. Wait, do they not go on? Oh, yeah, they do. They do. I was about to say, wow, there's just an empty row up top. Nope, they go up there. Hey, something's coming. They're floating on the water. Where am I? Let me see. Wow! I can't breathe, guys. Is that, a, is that a boat? Hey, over here. Save us, please. Uh, looks like some shoddy folded up paper boat. Do you, you think they can save us? It's made of internal organs. It's a boat made of internal organs. Oh, the horror. Well, that was pointless. Are you kidding me? I can't breathe here. Huge bummer. Actually, before I go back there, I want to sail to the right and see if I... No. So the pirate's treasure is the pirate's boat? Yes, because it's the meat boat. <coughs> I have a shiny new meat boat! 
I'm the conductor of it. Do boats have conductors? I should put on my psycho mask and just... No. They can't see it. I know. I realize that. But yeah, I have a psycho bandit mask from Borderlands. I also have the matching Buzz Axe prop that's life-sized. It is awesome. It was a... Uh, at a collector's shop. It was originally like 60, 80 bucks. I happened to be walking in the second they were marking it down to 25 and I fucking grabbed it. I think it's just hanging up on my wall above my lamp. So Let's it see now. Menacing. Can I do this? No, I can't kill them. Hope you fuckers can swim. <coughs> oh no. Do you have to go to the other pipe? Oh, wait, how would you? I really can't make that jump. <laughs> Was there something else I could do over here? Lead me up there. Maybe if I um, float farther as a paper airplane. Oh. Instead, they got me hurt. All right, so. Have you tried? You've tried both of those work pipes. I. There's like one there, and there's another one right past it. Oh, right. Were you just going to the farthest one? I just went to the farthest one thinking, wait, did I already use that one? There. So the... It's probably just the second one will cause those to appear. Hey, we can cross over now! We cross over to the other side. Death awaits us! Are those hats or heads? Because they're stitched up and it's got me concerned. Yes. Okay, good. So, see anyone familiar with those toads? Yeah, the mob. Yeah, the married couple. I pressed A. You must press it perfectly. I don't. Back up. Ali -hoo. I don't like that. There we go. I don't know how you did, but you saved us. We came here looking for that pirate treasure in Midwell. Our ship got surrounded by ghosts down in the ocean and we all ended up here. <laughs> Which of us did Francesca? I think you, because you do most of the female characters in this, except I do Goombella. Hey, aren't you Mario? It's me, me, Don Bianta's daughter, Francesca. Named after the axe he used to kill all of our rivals. I know. Daddy was so sentimental. And Frankie's here, too. Frank! <laughs> after my dad forgave us, we set out on a trip. The ship we were on got a little too close to the island. And now look at us. Still, I'm amazed the rumors about Cortez were all true, which means he's hung! I mean, yeah, he's probably hung. Hey, so by the way, why are you here? Don't tell me Daddy had you come here to take us back. We were looking for fresh meat for the village, and uh, we found it. What? You're after the pirate's booty because it might contain a crystal star? 
Well, I think the booty is right in there, watched by Cortez. Yeah, I'm sure you'll be able to take care of him, though. You look tough. Really reach up in there and grab it. Besides, Cortez is the one that trapped us on that raft, so smack him one for me. Smack him right on that thick ass of his. Frankie and I are just so in love anytime, anywhere, no matter how dank, and I'm not going to let him talk at all. Hey, pudding pie, cool if we, I mean, come on, babe, everybody's watching. Come on, don't do this, don't do this. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Can I get past these toads to talk to that weird one in the back? You're going to have to be more specific. They're toads. They're all weird. How will we ever get back to the surface? It smells so weird down here. I, uh, I think that's you, pal. Oh, it is. <laughs> Sorry, I've oh, only good. got like I get four to heal. voices I can use. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, wait, who's this? Oh, yeah, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's you. Whoa, did I surprise you? Yeah, sorry about that. See, I actually followed you in here, but I got lost along the way and, uh... Well, anyway, I followed this path and I finally caught up with you and then... Well, listen, just forget it, okay? I'm sure the crystal star is inside that booty. And the booty... And the Pirate King Cortez is in there, too. Yeah, I'm probably sure. Yeah, probably. No big deal, though, right? You can take him, big guy. We're counting on you. Boy, I sure... No, I sure am... And so is Grotus. Nothing suspicious at all. It looks less like a haunted boat and more like a badass children's bath toy. There's a difference. Like something put out by Mattel. Alright, who do you want me... Actually... Who do you want me to have going into the fight? Uh, probably Goombella, so you don't have to waste a turn. I wouldn't waste a turn. Oh, that's right, you got the... Right, so who do you want talking? Oh, um... What are your voices? Um, I've got Coops, Flurry... Do Flurry, do Flurry. Alright. I think she was a Belle of the Ball. Why, yes. Yep, yeah, there it is. Oh, you ignored my warning. Pay no attention to the evil pirate ghost behind the curtain. Ooh, come inside the door and be lost in darkness. Okay. Oh my god, do Flurry's boobs bounce as she floats? Yes, you've pointed this out every time I switch to her. Well, you hardly ever switch to her. Yeah, because I don't like using her that much. Come into my... <coughs> oh. Is he a dry bones? Oh, he's a skull. And I... I got tied to the spooky... Oh, shit. A pirate blasted. Pirates do not moan. Except when... Um, well, this is a kid's game. I'm a cold-blooded villain who robs innocence of life and loot. Not a crying ghost. And you are after my booty! Indeed we are, Captain. And this! This is my ass! What are you doing here? Speak! <laughs> I'll turn your mustache into a boat polisher, amigo. <laughs> I did not need to hear that! Oh, it's Hooktail all over again! Oh, no! <laughs> Fucking Hooktail, a dragon with a very... Very dominant foot fetish in a fucking Mario game. Yeah, that was one bad dragon. I know what I said. No, we all know what you said. <laughs> oh, I'm glad the rest of his body showed up. Pirates do not moan, except when they're drunk. But that doesn't. I know what I said! <laughs> That's Cortez! He's the dreaded pirate spirit who haunts the island! Max HP 20, attack for defense 1. His HP may seem <coughs> low, but he's a spirit, so even when his HP hits 0, he'll come back. Plus, he has tons of different attacks. He's as tough and scary as he looks. I'd say just keep damaging him, and sooner or later, he'll go down for good. That's what she said. Let's give this tormented spirit some eternal rest. 
Based on his skeleton, what do you think he was originally? Or is he just like conjuring bones? He might be some sort of amalgamation. Oh, you're gonna hit him on the soft part of the skull? Oh shit, that worked. Good, good block. Now, this is gonna be hard to do because of the angle, but. Mm -hmm. Good. Nice, nice, nice. So, defense down for two turns, that's what it means, right? Yes. Okay. And he had one defense, so we've. Um... Hmm. Oh, good night, Maine. Have a good night, Maine. It's gonna be tricky. Thank you for joining us. Yes, thank you. Excellent. I keep thinking five damage. That's not much, but this is a small numbers game. Yes. So five is a good solid hit. Eight's even better. Uh oh. Oh no, it's a snake. Oh, we got a power block. <laughs> Right, do I want to attack that part or the treasure pile? The bone pile. Oh, it's, oh, it's pointy. Pointy. It's pointy. Oh. <clears throat> oh, I know what to do. Vivian, and then, uh... You hide. Have her drag you into the shadows. Ah! It'll just give me star points. So I guess, is his only attack like that charge? In this body? Possibly. Hmm. That might be the case. Got an idea. I think he's about to do a beam attack. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, uh, that's one lottery you don't want to win. Oh, it's not. I wonder and if you can do more damage by hitting the gym, though. Say board game, but it was a board game. It had like a, a shaky skeleton on it that you had to like. Yeah, he had. He was covered in pirate treasure, and the idea was to take the treasure pieces off of him, like his uh, gold ring, his gold earring, his eye patch, his gold eye, stuff like that, uh, without him like shaking all over the place. Hmm. It was like a pirate skeleton version of Operation. Of Operation. Yeah! Shit, I remember that. God, that brings back memories. Finish you. I'm gonna risk this. Let's see if taking out the... 
Can she not target the bone pile? I guess she can't. Is it because of his angle? Like, you attack him, he changes angle? Veil again. How much FP does this move cost? One. Okay, that's forgetting. It's not even my final four. This is kind of cool. Wouldn't it be great if this was like an unlockable ship in Gradius? <laughs> the satellite uh, weapons are just these swords and hooks. Burn. Oh, and he's on fire. Ah, if I recovered my FP, that would have been perfect. Ah. Dropped his defense and he's on fire. Ah, uh, it doesn't increase the damage from fire though. Is that move called Sucker Punch? No, Shade Fist. It should be called Sucker Punch. Oh, you beat him! <gasps> oh! Oh. oh! Boss fight experience! We got 60. You doubled it! Also, the challenge yeah. has been completed. No, my treasure! I changed the voice for him. Eh, fuck it, why not? Ah, the hello, ooh, Depper. Ooh boy. The ooh voice was like him just being weird. I'm done for it. Yo ho ho! You're a foolish amigo, for I am not dead! I am undead! Well, technically I was already dead, but my spirit and yours tied to my treasure. Oh, we'll just take that then. So you can't do anything to me. I do not live, amigo! Still, guarding this booty for hundreds of years is almost as boring as death. What? You're not even interested in my booty? I mean... It's a firm one. I had it stored out back. I have preserved it for posterity. Get it? Posterity? Yeah. I, I got it. Uh, then why are you here? Huh? You want this, amigo? This little rock over here? Are you serious? Well, that's no big deal. Here, take it. What do I need one or two extra gems for? I did not really like that one anyway. You just gave me unlimited power. Oh great, we have one of the infinity stars. <laughs> That's the better heal. Uh -huh. How is it better? Uh, restores more, I think. Okay. That probably costs more too, right? Yes. Cortez, Scourge of the Seas. Mario soundly defeated this fearful spirit and claimed the Crystal Star. Perhaps the peaceful citizens of the world no longer need fear Cortez and his fellowship. The only problem remaining is how Mario will escape this isolated island. And could there be another problem still hiding beneath our hero's nose? <coughs> oh no, uh, no Depper, uh... <coughs> We don't have Jeffrey Rush here. <laughs> well, that should do it. If you don't need anything else, away with you, amigo. And then I heard something my ears could not believe. 
We had actually discovered the legendary treasure of the Pirate King Cortez. It was all left in one piece. How convenient. Did he just shoot us out his booty? He did. Or his ship's booty, at least. That's right. <laughs> How graceful. Hey, it's not like Mario's known for his jumping. No. <laughs> I pressed A, damn it! It's <laughs> still funny. Uh. <laughs> Loving it. Well, that's a chapter. Yeah, there is... Oh, wait. Actually, I want to do this first. I'm going to save again. <coughs> Get a full heal out of it. Alright. I There is more to this little segment of the game, but we're going to stop here due to time constraints. My apologies, everyone. Thank you all for coming. Yes, thank you, everyone. Now let's find someone to raid.